All right, we ready for a show? I think, is it broadcasting and everything's yeah. happy and everyone's sure. not being loud? Oh, I, uh, loud but... I would have to be so quiet. Dude, I'm I'm loud. I mean, there's no other way for me to be. I'm sorry. I, you can't stop this. Yeah. You can't stop all this. Shannon mode. Yeah. Mm. All this talent, it must be heard. We're up to 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always at 11. <laughs> She's got a lot of syrup in her veins tonight. Mm-hmm. I snore at 11. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's I do. true. People don't like to camp near me. No. <laughs> this no. is a fact. <laughs> no, right. they, there's, a, there's some ordinances in, stir, in certain uh, villages. Certain areas of Roscommon yeah. Township. Yeah. 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 Hey, you're not allowed to sleep anywhere near there. No. Has anyone ever like shared a room and then bought you like breathe right nose strips <laughs> or like a CPAP machine? No, uh, for so. Slurms, did it bother you? What? When we shared a room or when you're um, here, does the snoring bother you? I don't remember. Yeah, he was. He's, we usually, when we have guests that are spending the night, it's usually because they drank too much. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a cat bot, though, didn't They are you? out. <laughs> yeah. But- you yeah. got some of that cat butt. You had to have all that cat. Yeah, I did. Yourself. Holy crap! That cat was <laughs> cat woke me up three you. times. That cat likes to snuggle. That night. cat is an asshole. No, he's not. He's he my... okay. We have one bedroom that still has carpet in it. It's because of him, and he is tearing that up. Like, but he only does it at night. Down. Yeah, when I'm trying to sleep. So then I wake up to the sound of my carpet being shredded. So then I'm up and mad, and I can't go back to sleep. That and cat's he, a menace. He he's just trying point. to communicate. He hears that. The Z's, and he's like, I can do the same thing. <laughs> he thinks you're dying, the noise you're making. So what trying to that? wake you up. <laughs> well, he does. Uh, nice. Anyway. He's a good cat. He's not a good cat. No cat is a good cat. Cats are selfish little critters, but they're aw- they're lovable. Yeah. yeah. And they try to kill me with my allergies. But anyway. We- Slurms, you got to start hosting this. We're out of control tonight. It's going to be a mess. Episode 12 will go down in history as being the messiest we are, MMO show. You know, be like we, the Double Dare Challenge. We used to have mm-hmm. these multiplaying episodes and they were fun. We might do that tonight. Let's that see if we can get all is. the flags in the, in the, what was it, like seven flags in the Double Dare Challenge? I don't know. It was, I, that sounds right. At the end, right? Yeah, it's seven, I was think. Was there one you had to like pick a nose? Yeah. That, yeah there's a well, huge they mixed nose. them up, but that was usually <laughs> one of them. A, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the slide, and you just had to crawl up the sides. Yep. You never went up the slide. If we ever, that slide looked so delicious, though, didn't it? You wanted to lick yeah. it a little bit, didn't mm-hmm. you? If we ever have, if we ever gain enough popularity that we can have a MMO show convention, we, we need to have, to have, have a, a double dare challenge. Double dare challenge. Yeah, we not get, like the we stupid get barf to show up. Yeah. Yeah, I give away the prizes. I had the Double Dare yeah. home game when I was a kid. <laughs> but that's not as... My neighbor had that. They didn't have all the cool stuff. All it basically was, like, there Some was, hats. like, a helmet home, home yeah. and you could do a couple things, but the main thing was, like, it was a ring toss under your head. That was it. <laughs> it was not anywhere near as fun as the as watching them. On then the, you just, like, no. peed on each other. Double yeah. Dare was awesome. Yep. If you don't know what we're talking about, younger people in the audience... YouTube some Double Dare. It's made it's made some comebacks. Not has it? Yeah, like they had okay, Double, YouTube Double Dare two thousand. Uh, no, was you Mark watch Summers there for that? Yeah, no, I don't Mark think it was Summers. Mark Summers. And was what it? was that girl's name? That, that that guy hated messy stuff. He's he's that's OCD. That's hilarious. Yeah. He's so so yeah, ADD. That it's crazy, but um, anyway, OCD. O- o- OCD. Yeah, I don't remember. That probably yeah, helps you know me. Yep. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> All these modern hits for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> OCD. Yeah. You We're know. off topic tonight. I've been watching this. You can't do that on television on YouTube as well. All right. We, we, we need to start. And we can't use this till we do some pre-show. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Speaking uh, of ring toss, I went to a fair this past weekend. Did you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> worst thing, I wanted to tell the guy off. Uh, all like the carny folk who were you got there. Angry like, at the carnies? I wanted is to. I didn't. Is derogatory? It to, might be, but I don't care. Carnies? They're not here that I, that I know of. <laughs> we um, might fuck them. We. <laughs> they don't we have, might have like a huge carny following though, and they're one might. of the few. They're one of the few populations we could still make fun of, right? I don't know. Like, what if well, that's you better like, get in your digs while you can? Yeah, because that's, that's our... gonna be. 
PC pretty soon where we can't make our fun audience? of cookies. What if like ninety percent of our audience is carnies and we're just slicing our throats right what here? What if one of you is going for a CEO job in like fifteen years and they pull up this audio of you making fun of carnies? <sighs> there, there, I was uh, a carny at the a, time that's before that's I... engineer. Please, that's <laughs> what we called him. Uh, I just wanted to run the zipper <laughs> <laughs> the, or the salt and pepper shaker. Oh, oh, was it the um the gravitron? <laughs> oh, gosh. oh yeah, that thing was good. <laughs> yeah, spin and puke. Keep anyway. your hands and arms inside the mixer. The scrambler, <laughs> yeah, that one was nuts too. Stewart, I like you. <laughs> All right. This is the MMO Show, episode 12, recorded on Friday, September 11th, 2015. That's our intro music for today. America! America! Are you supposed to say, like, change the day like Nintendo for their release of uh, Mario Maker? What did they do? They said releasing on, what was it? Um, the 11th of September, like they mm. changed up the date, so mm-hmm. it didn't sound bad. Yeah, it wasn't invoking any feeling. Yeah, and they got made fun of by, you know, the gaming press, but I mean, what else are they going to do? They can't say 9-11. Yeah. What did they, oh. The 11th of September of 2015, like it was worded like that, whereas they normally would just say, you September know, 11th. the month first and the date. But it is, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it is September 11th. It is, I but... Know. You can't you can't put nine eleven on a release. Is yeah. it time times we live in? Sorry. Hmm. Welcome back, Brent. I'm back. You're kind of back. Your camera's not back, but you're back. Are you having people watching Family Ties and telling you to be quiet? Apparently so. I know. This is not my fault. This is Brent's connection this week, ladies and gentlemen. Brent is trolling the show. That's what this is. Hardways is here, JBJ Blaze. Hello, chat room, and anyone else I missed. I'm scrolling up. No one else talked, so there are other people here. Hello to you quiet lurkers. Hey, there I am. There you there are. You are you really back? back. Are you going to pop out again? Can you hear us? I I can hear you. Okay. Okay. There well, you hey, are. Did you disappear again? Holy crap, what's going on? You're here now, but you yeah you you keep cutting out. Yeah. Oh. Do you have? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can just keep talking about carnies, I guess, and old rides we used to like. And he True. seemed to really like that conversation, though. It's kind of rude to leave him out, right? Who carnies yeah, he, or Brent? Brent. Yeah, he oh. seems rudely. Seemed Brent like he was out. real, like gonna tear into some carnies, <laughs> like he had some some real good lined up. Yeah, I got some things yeah. to say. Yeah, about those carnies. Creeps. He's like, fuck, now's my chance. Watch, he's, he's like... Been, he's been stewing. Watch, he's like a tragic years. story where he was orphaned and Carney's raised him. And he's like, all my life, I've and... been walking on eggshells, not <laughs> being able Carney. to talk about Carney's, but I now... Mean, Car- <laughs> he's been eating Carney stew for 15 years and he can't wait to make fun of him. That's Carney stew. He's just been stewing about Carney's. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> It was like cabbage. I love carnies too. <laughs> yeah, you do. I feel like I missed something uh conversation there. <laughs> no, we weren't talking really. about no, you we're... and making up fictional stories about how you were raised. That's that's not what happened at all. Well it's um, kinda close. I was raised by carnies. <laughs> oh <laughs> how much do and, I win? Uh, I've been wanting to talk about it for a while now. I've been stewing on it, you might say. Fuck <laughs> yeah. He heard everything. I just heard the last thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That would be uh, downloading uh, Star Wars and uh, my internet crapping out every once in a while. Lately. You were downloading all of like everything that ever was Star Wars at once? That yes. Might, that might yes. do it. On all the uh, Jedis were coming. Are, my are we talking about once. downloading movies or Swator or Kotor or? Uh, it would be Swator. <laughs> are you going back to Swator? I doubt it. I just want it ready in case. <laughs> you never know because a lot might, of hard drive space just to be waiting yeah well no actually mine's i I never i never remove an mmo off my computer because you don't play anything else 
<laughs> no, but I still have Wildstar on my computer. I still have Final Fantasy on my computer. I still have um, Shannon's the Doomsday Prepper of MMO World games. Warcraft. I have Swator still on my computer. What else do I have on my computer? Her bug out bag contains her hard drive with all those. <laughs> Just, yeah, all my MMOs. Well, yeah. He left again. <laughs> Is EverQuest still there? Haven't haven't seen you on in a while. I yeah. hey, haven't been out in a while, Shannon. What's, have you? What's been no. going on? Hey. I went away. I my um my subscription. <laughs> was up uh-huh. during the holiday weekend and okay. so I paused it to see oh, you're just taking a break how I'd feel when I got back. but the problem is I never see you online when I'm online and like yeah. I the guild okay. I'm in is really supportive and they'll come and they'll like like a dude will sit there and like buff me so I can go out and get experience stuff but that's not like what I want I don't want right. to be leveled I want to level with people and have that experience and so and it's not their fault. They're just above me and they're doing all this really fun stuff. And it just seems like I'm never getting there. And so no one's I, above you, Shannon. They're all above me. And I'm just like, I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. I'm, pa- I'm yeah. pausing for a, a little bit and I just taking a time out. Yeah. I don't know. What you got to gotta, do. Gotta get Steve and uh, Jason play. Then we have yeah. a group. They won't play. Then we have a full group. Kind of. <laughs> <They're laughs> everybody gets two that. characters or something. I don't know. They're not going to play that. Dual, yeah. Dual box. Yeah, I know someone who does that. I think we all do. Yeah. 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 I think he was raised by carnies. <laughs> he might have been raised by carnies. Yeah, yeah, the two two headed uh, carnies. Yeah, that, that's that's, the kind that's how have. that works. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I like to dual box. Hmm. His someone, dad is uh, the bearded man. Hardways wants to know, Shannon, on your hard drive, do you have a uh, Warhammer still installed? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Do you? I don't know. I'd have to look. I still have, like Guild Wars. I know that. Guild Wars she doesn't uninstall anything. I so. don't uninstall anything. Well, at some point, you have to. No, nope. I haven't really had a huge hard, hard drive. drive. She doesn't <laughs> install anything besides <laughs> MMOs on her hard drive. Yeah, there's nothing else on here. It's you MMOs got 20 and, terabytes of hard drive. And, and Facebook. I'm or, just not like Facebook. Um, Photoshop. I have Photoshop I and MMOs. That's it. And then whatever this stuff is that does this this thing, <laughs> do that. <laughs> uh, well, while you're checking that, should we uh, talk about the MMOs we've been playing? I'm not checking that. <laughs> really, I want to know if you have it on your hard drive. I think everybody yeah. like I'm, deserves to know. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's waiting. Yeah, wait for this. This this is like who shot Jr. It is not loaded. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I did a search, so no, I must have deleted that one. Oh, out of anger. So yeah. when they close down the servers, that's when it's time to uninstall. Apparently. You don't have Tabula Rasa on there? Oh, Jesus. Did I play that? No, I don't think you ever did. I don't no think I did. played that. Not one person ever did. For the month that it was out or whatever? I, I Remember Hellgate London? Yeah. yeah. I remember the character that's, creation that's and then going, going right nope, now. and I deleted it. <laughs> you can still play that. I didn't want to play it then. I love the story. Well, actually, I, I could play it now. It's called The Secret World because it's kind of the same thing. Well, as as that bit. story trailer. But then that game ended up being not the tone of that yeah, trailer at all. At all. But Anyways. Anyways. Um, chat room has a big question. It says... It... It says, um, I was wondering that if high res and we love high res cause they actually let us interview them back in the day and they're awesome people. Yeah. <laughs> for, I noticed doing that following you on Twitter. Uh, yeah. High res. Yeah. High res. And then some of the devs still, but it's back from when we interviewed them because when they were making global agenda, like we did an interview with them and they were fantastic. They're just they're really great guys. Like Yeah. They were um, eating noodles before. They were the eating show. noodles. <laughs> was it was it Todd? Because Todd's the one that's following you, I think. Todd here. Todd and Stu, I thought. Right? Yeah. 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 Todd I mean Todd's like the big man. He's the head guy. Yeah. yeah. The um Bob Saget. Cool. So Good. Like Bob Saget's following us on Twitter? Maybe. I don't that's, know. That's that's who uh Todd Harris looks like. Oh, okay. Our our um, previous podcast used to do interviews of gaming devs uh, quite often in its earlier days. And mm-hmm. so we made lots of friends and they're really nice people. But we haven't decided where we want to, how we want to fit that into this show. Because at the end of that show, we were really enjoying just being silly and doing our own thing. So yeah. uh, I would like to do if, okay, here's this 
separate topic, but if we start doing interviews, what I would like to do is have devs on, but just have them like how we've been having guests on and just like go ahead and let them promote like how we did with Flux A last week and some sure. other people. Go ahead and do your little promotional part and then okay, that's cool. Let's just talk though about like playing games because we're all gamers and like you know and fuck carnies, right? <laughs> <laughs> have a whole segment where we ask them about their opinion I, on carnies. I was not expecting that. I'm sorry for the burst there. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I would like kind of just like to have casual people talk about MMOs yep. and shit and shit. But I don't know if like uh, scat is good a lot of that stuff's ran better. by like PR departments though. All their like stuff. All yeah. their interactions. I don't know yeah, if like they can control get away with, a lot of yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know like if a lot of them could get away with just having a conversation that was accidentally recorded. But uh, yeah, a lot of them anymore. That doesn't seem like it's a thing. I know that's a landmine for them to say something wrong. It is, and it's but, yeah. I would be willing to about edit anything carnies. out, but about carnies, yeah, because <laughs> we are we might say something offensive and they don't want to be associated with it. You know what I mean? That all that could happen. Totally. Well, what, what are they going to do? Not be on the show again? I think that's great. Like that's what you want, right? Well, because yeah. well, you know, it's, it's sad because like the whole thing is you can't be a person. You got to be a product. You know, like you're a representative of yeah. everything. You can't just be you. Well, and it could be like a joke. Like, okay, so half these people don't even watch the shows, right? So no, then just give this, yeah. this like, do you want to be on our podcast? More than <gasps> more than half. Do I guess. like they have the no, Andre? I have no clue what they're who do, they're talking to. What's yeah, the Andre great. show? What is that? Sh- Jace Art? Yeah. The Andre. So get them on and then just, just oh, the Eric Andre show? stupid yeah. questions stuff. Yeah. Do the Eric Andre show where we just totally like, have, do you know what I'm talking about at all? I, I don't. Okay. Is that, is this, that the one with uh, Zach, Zach and Nala for Gag- No. No, no it's this, two turns, it's two this turns. one dude, but like he has people, he has guests on and he doesn't tell them like that the whole interview is like a joke and he'll come on and just start like tearing stuff up with the chainsaw instead of interviewing them and, like, <laughs> and he just records their reactions and stuff i mean it's just i think we're on to something yeah I mean, so like we could podcast before, something but, uh, like that i mean it's kind of been done i guess now but you sure. didn't know you didn't know it was done when you came up with the idea so well and you could just do things like okay you start the show and then you're like our first segment farts with the host and you just yeah. make fart noises yeah. and they're just like what is going yeah and then you ask them to can you fart for us can you just move your headset to your butt and try and f- just push it out a little just push and see what happens oh and then they're like oops i crapped my pants <laughs> i'm gonna have to go you did too much uh they would probably just say no and hang up on us though yeah. Like that works to point. How how long can you keep them on the hook before they just ah, I gotta go? That could be our thing. Like how many how many like important game devs could we piss off? Yeah, I don't know if we <laughs> answered JBJ Blaze's question. We didn't know. Actually, no. <laughs> I think I read the whole thing. Um, okay, he was wondering. And by the way, Smite is now on Steam. I saw yesterday. Yeah, it just yeah. came on the other day. Awesome. Where awesome. the hell did that come from in the conversation? I, what? Iris. 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 Oh, Iris okay. <laughs> no, no way to know what the devs are doing, dipshit. <laughs> Unless you uh, listen to uh, On Smite, we just had Gabe on last night. Did you? That's so cool. you talked about it. That's so it's cool. going to no more. About Smite? Yeah. yeah. On Weird. Smite. This podcast about Smite. I get it. <laughs> I was being sarcastic, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I get it. No, we're just talking uh, about so, whatever. I don't, I don't really understand the question. I'll be honest with you. Oh, uh, the question is, I was wondering that if Hyra's made an MMO game, which they did, it's Global Agenda, and Star Citizen was finally released, do you think one or both might somehow dominate the genre, even beat out WoW? And for the off-topic section, do you think it's Blasphemous, possibly good, or otherwise for The Last of Us director to have asked Valve for the Half-Life license. That's two separate questions. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Hi-Rez did do an MMO. It's called Global Agenda. Yeah. And did Hi-Rez do Tribes, the newer one? Yeah. They're going. They're actually going back to uh, work on it some more now that they have more money. Yeah. I. You know, I always felt that game was just criminally underrated. Yeah. That was a really, really solid game, and I, I went back to it about a year or two ago. Still a ton of fun, and I... I was hoping it it was still going and was well, did doing something else. Two come out like out of beta like 
or was it in open beta like right around the same time that Tribes of Sun came out? I know this yeah. is non some somewhat MMO, somewhat non MMO talk, but I thought that was like kind of around the same time. And I think like Tribes of Sun came out and it was tons of fun for like a month. Yeah. But then everybody kind of flocked over to Planet Side Two. At least that's what my my memory is trying to tell me. That but sounds maybe. about right. But it sounds I, like yeah. it, you might know what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and and honestly, high res. I hate to even say this because I, I love high res, uh, but they kind of they they kind of fucked up tribes by making it almost a pay to win. Like you could buy guns and and stuff, and mm. right. And so I think they're going to be fixing that sort of stuff and getting it back to because I mean they've done really good free to play with Smite, and yeah. they've got a new game called Paladins. They're going to be showing off during TwitchCon that uh, looks pretty good. So What's hopefully they find it. You're you're like into that. What's TwitchCon? It's basically a con for a bunch of Twitch streamers. So it's and just a bunch you, of people walking you, around yelling at each other to please watch their stream. Follow my stream. Oh, I think it's a lot of people. Well, I don't. You know, I don't know. I don't know if this is more closed for. Like, I don't know if they're just giving out tickets, selling tickets to fans. Because then it'd be like fans, you know, coming and screaming for their favorite streamer, or if it's more of a insiders kind of thing yeah, for I've game company that working to show I've, things to streamers to you can probably do a things. little bit of both have I, different I, panels and stuff for each from what thing. i've heard it is a bit of both that it, you do have yeah. like can it, you remember uh, shannon remember the panel that we said on about like uh, podcasting it's like there's stuff like that on a larger scale like how to properly do like green screen or blue screen stuff or uh like how to set up your stream for best quality like there's there's sessions about that stuff but i've also heard tales from other podcasts of like people like fans being in there and just going ballistic running down their favorite streamers and trying to get autographs on their foreheads or whatever but bunch of freaks sounds weird I kind of, I kind of, that, that was kind of cool. I don't have streamers that I follow unless I'm friends with them, though. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I followed a streamer, and, and this is going into a little bit of EverQuest and, and stuff. And so if, if we're not there yet, just tell me I've been drinking. So I'd, I think I we're really just a mess tonight. Episode like, 12. Well, this is it's good. Nice. Good point. Good time then. Because, okay, so <sighs> yeah, I was go playing ahead. EverQuest. Go figure. And, uh, I was like, oh, I want to see if other people are streaming EverQuest. And there were. Mm -hmm. This guy was streaming EverQuest. And so I joined his stream and he started talking to me because I was the only person in there. Uh, obviously, because it was an EverQuest stream. And uh, after a while, he was like, well, I'm closing my stream and going to this other stream who's another guy. And he's the famous guy. So he's going to take all the you know people watching the stream. So let's go over there. So I was like, OK. So I'll go over there and, and all five of us, because that's. Oh, the big crowd for EverQuest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was uh, streaming and he's like, yeah, come join my group. And uh, so we went and joined his group and for hours, hours on the stream with this guy, like followed him. I was hosting him and stuff like that. Yeah, seems like a nice guy. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, like I say something about like, I like fear kiting and he goes off just ballistic. Like you're a moron. You're a fucking idiot. I can't believe. And I'm just like, is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> like so you, you felt know, streaming live i'm a follower and you're just like yelling at me for a different opinion like, yeah on a game mechanic that's totally like something people have done in everquest since day one but yeah and it flipped out and i was just like okay um i don't know when you went dick but i'm out of here when you went dick that's a new thing guys you went full dick <laughs> he did. and i just left you know I was just See, like, we're, I we're all a little bit we're, we're all kind of dicks on the show, but we don't go full dick. Yeah, there's no reason to, right? <laughs> not yet. I mean, not until you say something like something that I, I disagree with at all. Totally. <laughs> and then I'm going to. Yeah, Kearney's, I, Kearney's, Kearney's aren't that bad. What's that? What? Kearney's aren't that bad. Whoa. I, I would go off on you now, but I, I, I'm pizza. I will fight. I will fucking murder you. I'm so <laughs> delighted by this whole thing. <laughs> anyway, our. Uh, stew for you i would like to propose that the show be called hot mess because we've been talking quite a bit about high res and mentioned global agenda and our guild name in global agenda was hot mess nice. that's true yeah. so that it's would tie into all that shit so yeah hey, i'm done that's my contribution all connected to 
Yeah. We haven't decided who's editing yet, though, have we? Oh, I think Jason, aren't you editing? I'm going to try. My audacity is You good. can. I will wait. I'll do it on yours. Yeah. I've been playing so much Star Wars Uprising. I can do that while you. Oh, that works. That works for me. Yeah. So, and, and now we can do Guest Brent's Level. Because this is a great new game. Oh, on the EverQuest? Yeah. Okay. So, but you have I two accounts this. now and like 14 characters. So you might be spread out a bit. I'm okay, gonna... so I, I want to know, though, the last update was how long ago that we uh, got? Two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two weeks. And what two was weeks. the level then? Yeah, what were you then? Oh, I want to say, oh, man, I don't even remember. I don't listen to our own show. What what, what was it, like 30? <laughs> I thought it was like, like 32 32? or 33? That sounds about right. That's, okay, that, so remember. I'm going to guess 42. I'm going to go 37. 40. Okay. Now... This is a trick question. I'll be I'm You're going full dick here. You're still thirty two. Um, I I'm actually forty six. Forty six. I was the closest without going over. So. Because I I did nothing but EverQuest last week because they had double XP weekend. For the holiday weekend, I was up north. There was no the MMOs. Holiday. And not only that, because you pay, they give you like their in-game cash, which you can use to buy plus twenty-five percent experience. Yeah. Dang. So I just went ham. So this guy, Dick, Dick guy, yeah, was yelling at me. He got me like six or seven levels. Like, so I couldn't be too angry with him, even though I was like, "What? Maybe he's just mad he leveled me up so much." Um. I don't know, I don't but know. Uh, yeah. So forty-six. Good for you, man. And uh, my my and you exploited is, is like eight or nine. I was, I was getting my cleric up to your level so that we could group, but that's yeah. not happening anymore. Well, I don't know. I, no, okay. I, I gotta see. admit these fall. two these two. Well, Jason talked me into restarting Final Fantasy, but I really don't even want to. Bum, bum, well, you shouldn't have. I know, and I I, I logged in, night. and I didn't want to, and I want to play EverQuest, and I just don't have friends to play EverQuest with because some people are never online. Uh, I gotta I say, I've, I've I had the itch, the urge to play Final Fantasy while I was gone for the Labor Day weekend, yeah, and logged in during my off time, which is work this week, yeah. um, and uh, hasn't happened in MMO in a long time. I'm really so, I'm yeah. Just, where are you guys it. at in Final Fantasy? We should yeah, Jason. Where what level are you in Final Fantasy? So I'm I'm a white mage. I think I'm around. I'm close to forty. Cool. Why does he got to be white? It seems all racist and shit. Right? I don't know. Black color. mage too. Oh, okay. Black mage. He's, they're all good. That's good. No Do you red have mage. Have a black though. mage then? I don't have a black any, mage yet. Mm. Any I'm carnies? Let me see how it is. I want there to be a carny mage. But no, carnies are just mobs that you fucking destroy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. I do love how we're hitting all the topics on the docket, but just chat, and this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> there, there's some uh, there's some method to our madness, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm still so digging you- it. I, the reason Shannon, I was honestly bugging you, is because I I want to do some of the group content. I do love the dungeons. I'm being selfish, just wanting. I love the dungeons people. in that game. Like, there is no like, and the reason why, like, I kind of got talked into going back is like. Jason was like, well, what do you want to do? Why are you bummed out? I was like, well, I don't want to do this solo stuff. I want to group up with people and do dungeons, but I want a holy trinity. And I, you know, and he's like, hello, Final Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's so true. Cause he can just level, he can just join me and it automatically levels him down. And we don't have to have that problem that we're well, not the same level and all this stuff. If it's but- something that you want to like level together, I mean, we could because of the whole like your one character plays all the yeah. classes we could all switch to a different that's secondary true. yeah mm-hmm. and play together no that's true yeah. that's it i'm downloading this shit where is it final fantasy you better pause star wars <laughs> yeah you gotta I, pause I star wars it. it's paused because you're it's still your fans. camera's still i'll wait till after the show I'll wait yeah till show. it's a big download too you do you know yeah. your camera's off do i know what is that your camera's off no, I didn't. I just figured you, you didn't want to show it. That's no, fine. I don't no, care. You just didn't have it on. I didn't know uh, if it was causing you download issues and you turned it off on purpose or something. No, no, it should be. I, I don't know what it is, but ever since I got home with this computer and this happens in EverQuest, and I thought it was EverQuest until everything seems to be doing it now. Like every hour or two, it just like the internet just just dies. 
and I died so many times in EverQuest, and it's hmm. pissing me off so bad. That's, that's um, awful. Did you get a new router when you got a new computer Any by any chance? No. Oh, I think it's okay. the motherboard came with this badass killer uh, internet card, and I think that's the motherfucker. Killing it? Killing everything. So I'm going like, to buy a new like, internet card or go Wi-Fi. I don't know. Yeah. I got what, – what did you hook up onto my computer, Jason, that makes my Wi-Fi awesome now? Oh, shit. Um, Ethernet. Oh, I, no, it was just a USB because uh, our – our network cards were so old that I think her she was having trouble connecting upstairs. So I just I got a USB uh, Wi-Fi adapter and it it established a great <laughs> connection. Oh, cool! Yeah, I, I didn't want to go. I wanted to go the simplest route possible. Okay, we're getting a little guff in the chat room. Hardways is ripping at us for uh, being in hot mess. He was in hot mess for a week before we quit. And then that, and um, also Rift before, we, and I would say, okay, both situations, I was not leading either of those messes. Um, Bring that up. I was not involved in the leadership of either of those guilds. Um, but I, I've I've jumbled my share of MMO guilds, but uh, so you don't want those one on you. Those but those two on- those two aren't on me. Yeah. And um, but the I don't know why. Uh, let's see, Global Agenda. We were into that for a little bit. Yeah. But, I think that was Odalus. Yeah, but I think I thought Rift lasted a while. I thought you guys uh, were a good solid three months into that. No, I think it was two. I, well, I don't know. I only played it for That's a month. That's a good run. Yeah, uh, Rift was one of those like really good first experience games. Nope, I don't like Rift at all. Well, so I, I guess for sorry, me. I, I just never, and I only played it because they were playing it, kind of like a lot of other games. <laughs> but yeah, anyway... Yeah, I mean, if they played EverQuest, they would understand, I think. Yeah. Just come they back. They just don't understand. I can't go back. You could. It could Not be, it could be that It could be that good again. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway. No. Have you guys been playing Star Wars Uprising, which is not an MMO, but it's kind of an MMO? It's kind of like... I downloaded it. It's like, okay... Jason is not happy, but he's not leveled up very far. So I guess we should round Robin some experiences. So Slurms, you've downloaded it and done nothing else, right? Correct. Okay. Brent, I've have created you... my Twi'lek. Twi'lek. I, I thought it, it was. Uh, I thought y'all were talking about the the slow tour, so that's why I was downloading <laughs> oh, it. And then I realized, looking at the show notes, that it wasn't that at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, delete that so. shit. Delete that. Delete. We'll do that next month. Delete <laughs> yeah, no, just let it go because Swatoro, I'm sure we'll get into it like in a month. But uh, when the expansion comes up. Yeah. Um mm. Star Wars Uprising is a mobile game. It's an RPG with dungeon crawling elements that you can actually play multiplayer through your phone or iPad or various other devices, probably. I don't know. I only have huh. I only have i devices, huh. so uh not my problem. Um <laughs> but it starts off, Jason. Do you want to give your experience? Because you're like level six, so you're at the very beginner stages. Where, just give your opinion. Yeah, it it starts off. It's kind of kind of a cool story hook right away, and it's got some good. Oh yeah, tell them up. where they're at in the story. Huh? Oh, oh. it's after uh, episode Jedi. six. Yeah. So it's and it's supposed to be canon. So it's talking. It's kind of dealing with Damper dying and all that on this kind of remote planet. Um, and it, it's got like, that stuff's good. The, the writing's good and the production's good, but it, so far it really seems like a Diablo light mm-hmm. touchscreen. Marvel heroes ish. Yeah. I mean, I, I go to Diablo just cause that's the oldest kind of popular. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, it's it, like, all right now I've got three or four abilities and it's all touchscreen and the enemies are really dumb. And it's been pretty easy so far, but I've been told to to hang with it, which is always tough because I don't like when someone tells me to hang with a game. Wait for the fun. Wait for the fun. Uh, but the the thing about this game is I think it's going to have a lot of people trying it out who are not familiar with this type of gameplay because it's a mobile game. And so it's going to take them a little. There's going to be a learning curve for more players. And so it starts off really slow. And what I was getting a lot of kickback because i started a cartel if you want to join our cartel it's called ataraxia and um if you don't know what that means it's more of a whimsical you don't have any worries type of total trusting environment type of thing um 
because I'm a hippie. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> look it up. Join us right now. Anyone can get in and we'll just boot the jerks because that's that's just easy for us. And anyone who I know gets officer and uh, yeah, join up anyway. Sure. But the whole deal is it's dungeon crawling multiplayer. You can join up with your friends and kind of just you know, point, click, shoot. There's about four or five abilities, but then you also get these, you start acquiring crew members and you can send them out on missions and they get you stuff. And then you also have to level up your gear and level up your weapons and you get all the stuff and particles to do that. Um, and you can, at first you can only build your character in one way. Like you meet one guy who gives you like one option on how to like get these other abilities but then when you go to like the next area there's two different trainers and then you can start to see like okay do I want to go more scoundrel or more bodyguard and you can kind of start to direct what type of gameplay you want your character to have so it gets a it starts tiny tiny progressing you but we were I was getting a little kickback from some of the people I know on Twitter because they're like invite me to the cartel but like they weren't getting the invite and they weren't getting the friend requests and stuff because they you ha- it's story gated content. So you couldn't get invited until you got into a certain point in the story to unlock the social element of the game. So that's an issue. Like you can't just jump right in to the social stuff. You got to open it all up. It doesn't take that long, though. No, no, well, it's downloading now. So if my camera goes offline, it's because I'm downloading an app. You're down- How many things are you downloading now because oh, of these stupid crap. show notes? Well, I can't download it right now. I yeah. I changed my iPhone password and Apple sucks. I hate like they they're like you can't use the same password you've used within the past fourteen years and <laughs> gotta have this or that. So now I've got this password that I just let my password manager set up. Uh huh. But it, that, it's like doing that on a phone. Yeah. Give me a break. Like so guys. Like, anyway, I thought of a new business like. You know how you have that business of the envelopes and the stamps, and I would like yeah, to congratulate. I would like to congratulate you on your success. He he, did you email me or message me? I don't remember. But I remember I was at work and laughed my butt off because he's like, "Remember my business? I told you about it. Someone actually like made you do it, and you had to go buy stamps." <laughs> yes, I bought stamps, and I I even got in because uh, I sent one in for me at the same time. I stack exchange stickers. To make it even worse at the same time, just to make sure, I wanted to make sure this venture made no money. So the 60 cents that they ended up taking off that, <laughs> I made me some some address things. That yeah. Stampindo.com with my address on it. So I can just plug those on there. And I've got a book of stamps right here. So I'm all set to uh, not make money. So For the next, the next guy that comes in. Yeah. That wants you to mail something for him. You hate mailing things. Yeah, stampindo.com. A bunch of did stuff you, business, business expenses. Did you did you actually mail the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got, good. good. I mailed it for them and for me. I mailed two at the same time so I could see like if they actually sent it. And I, I got mine in, so I assume they got theirs. Well, that's good. Or maybe not. Maybe they ran out. Maybe, maybe they sent me some and, and the other fool, uh, you know, just sent me uh, $2. Ouch. I doubt it. but No, I'm sure it all went well. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to tell his friend. He's going to tell his friend. He's going to mm-hmm. tell his friend. Where'd you get those stickers, dude? You got to go to stampindo.com. Word of mouth. Starts. Yeah. That's how it starts. That's how it goes. Cool. Okay. I'm downloading. We're all good. All right. <laughs> anyway. All right, so this is something that everybody, I think, would be interested in. Final Fantasy. Uh, it's Realm Reborn. I take it 14, whatever. Yep. yep. <laughs> yes. That's the one you want so, to download. I bought it a long time ago, but I think I used my curse email, which I no longer have access to. Oh. So I think I'm just going to start over again. Do I have to pay again or do I just get a free account? You're talking to the hey, right guy about hey, starting Tom, over. Do you have any, uh, experience with I have that? some experience with this as well. <laughs> I, I own actually two accounts. One I cannot get into. <laughs> They're pretty flexible about that, though, right? It's a, Well, my thing was, okay, uh. the problem with deal... The, the whole reason why I didn't want to go back to Final Fantasy is because it was such a pain in the butt to cancel the last time. Oh. And I had to buy a whole other game twice. And it's such a... They, they are so user-unfriendly. <laughs> like, yeah. all of their websites and stuff. It's such a pain that it's just, like, ridiculous. But it's the game's Square really Enix good. And the whole Mog Station thing and how you have to enter your expansion codes and all that as a 
total shit show. What happened with you and your expansion, Slurms? Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> so I bought the Heaven's Word expansion like weeks ago, like a while back. Because you want to get on early. Because yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll just I'll pick it up. I'm I'm digging the game. And I picked up a uh, time card a long time ago, too. And I finally got to the point where it was getting close. So I used it. No problem there. Awesome. Um, but when I went to enter my heaven's word code to add the expansion to my account, it said the code was invalid. Why? Okay. Well, I couldn't figure it out for a long ass time what I was doing wrong until I finally saw some little red print on the page mm -hmm. uh, that said because I had the Steam version of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, I had to buy the Steam version of Heaven's Word. Oh, ow. not just a Windows version, PC right? copy. No. They are not compatible. That seems weird. It seems like you could just plug in and it uses a key. the same sort of digits. It's the yeah. same setup, so it didn't make any freaking sense to me. Because I, I I wanted to do a test, and so what I did was I downloaded A Realm Reborn on Steam. I, I downloaded the free demo, but then when I logged in, I log into my pay account, and it mm -hmm. launches fine. Huh. Huh. Yeah. It's, hmm. it's a weird thing, and I even contacted their customer service because, okay, here was my thing. Oh, there's fun. Yeah, just buy the game again. <laughs> Here, here was my thing. I bought. I it's bought, worth the twenty bucks. People just buy the game again. <laughs> uh, I had bought uh, the game via Steam. Just okay. I want to get back into the game because that was a whole previous episode of me talking yeah, about I've, how you know. what I had to go through with trying to get my account back together and said fuck it and just bought the Steam version. Okay, so I had the Steam version. No big deal. Uh, happened to see the physical copy at GameStop and said, you know, I'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, there's nothing on the case that says that it's not compatible with Steam. And there's nothing that was real blatant on the Steam site so, that said, hey, if you have this version, you have to buy this. You can't. I mean, there was nothing really like out and out that right. said, but so, here's what pissed me off. I it, They what? totally exchanged they just gave you the code to, and let you use it on Steam, right? Because that would be the customer service-y thing to do. No. Mm. Uh, I oh. contacted the customer service and said, hey, this is the issue that I'm having. Explain the whole story. And the guy that I had for customer service said, no, we don't exchange the codes. You have to buy another copy. That's really weird. I didn't realize that's what happened to you. And I, I have my original Final Fantasy fourteen on Steam, and I ordered the expansion through Amazon and I called in customer service and they just, they did it for That's me. That's because you're with Amazon. You called Amazon. No, I call, I call Final Fantasy and they just, oh yeah, really? no problem. And they, no uh, shit. No, I'm totally fucking with you. Oh, you oh you're <laughs> such a dick. Wow. You went full went dick, Jason. You went full dick. <laughs> uh, and on top of it, what was really pissed me off was that on top of saying, hey, no, just go buy another copy. He then suggested, hey, See if you can find a friend that would buy this one off of you, maybe, so that you can buy the Steam version. I'm like, I told him in like in the chat that I have with him. I anybody that I know that's playing has already bought it and is using. I, I'm kind of late to the game here. And he's like, you got smart friends. Pretty much, but no, he was just like, no, there's nothing we can do. Sorry, okay, I was like, can slurps. you at least compensate me a little bit for the trouble that I'm going through? And he's like, no, sorry, there's nothing. There's okay. there's absolutely nothing I can do. Goodbye. You're screwed, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why back in the day when I was having my trouble, I just bought another account. Cause yeah. it just wasn't worth twenty bucks. Was like, is it worth twenty bucks a headache? Like, but you know, back in the day, back then, that was during launch, and it was taking people a week to get stuff sorted out. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was just like, well, twenty bucks is worth a week of gameplay for launch. Okay. Miss, like, I don't miss launch, but anyway. The real insult to injury with all this is I had made a Reddit post about the issue mm -hmm. and I deleted the post because of the guy that was commenting on the only person that was commenting was just pissing me off uh, with basically telling me this guy from Reddit was basically telling me that it was my fault. Why is it your fault? Because I didn't go on the official site and, and find where it said that I couldn't use I would the, think a lot of people making yeah. purchases wouldn't necessarily well, and it turns out that. I'm not the only one because as like as I'm going through and like when it, when this was first going on like a couple weeks ago and I was finding out that I couldn't use the code. Mm -hmm. I 
I was finding all these like Steam forum posts of people saying, hey, I bought the physical collector's edition of Heaven's Word, which they made a physical collector's edition that came with a statue. Mm -hmm. And so people wanted that statue and say, I bought the physical collector's edition, but I have the Steam version of yeah, Rome Reborn. So what you could never, do? ever buy a collector's nope. edition? Nope. If you had the Steam version of the base game, so you have to buy the So if this game like, becomes like World of Warcraft That's and you're nice. playing it for like 10 years, you could never buy any collector's edition. No, if you had bought physical. the Steam version of it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Right. Well, that's, that's how fucked up their system is. Yeah, well, yeah, and this is how shitty it is. Like, I know my login, I know my password, but it sends me a one-time login oh, password okay. to an email I can no longer get to. Okay, yeah, you're fucked. you may never have set that up. Try hitting enter without entering anything. And, and it, sometimes it'll go just through. Just your email and password. Yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. That's, that's, and then leave that empty and see if it goes through. That means you never set up your one-time password. But if you did set up a one-time password ever, then you're going to have to call. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I think I set one up. <laughs> then, I'm not calling oh, yeah. shit. I, I, know, I mean, I, know, I bought this not, for the original Green Bay Gaming for $37. So if I, that's what I did too. <laughs> decide to play again, I will just cancel my second EverQuest account and use that money for... Uh, 20 bucks. Steam, you get the Steam version, but you'll never no. be able to get collectors. Of no, 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 I would not suggest. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's, what's it on Green Man Gaming? Like, if I already bought it there once, do they give me another discount for the same game? <laughs> I don't you know. You go to the site and it says, uh, we've seen, see that you've already purchased this before. Are you sure you want to do that? I was able to grab it for 20 yeah. bucks somewhere else after afterwards, but I don't know what it is now. Well, do you get the first one free if you buy the expansion? <laughs> do you have to buy the God, expansion? No. No. The, uh, yeah, not all. No. And it's like, a like, monthly kind of thing? It's oh, yeah. a monthly thing. Yeah. Oh. It's a real, it's yeah, like it's a we're real scamming deal. your fruit. Euro. See, now you're you're getting here why Hardways in our chat room is annoyed with us that we hop games so often because we, we spend the monies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just going back to EverQuest. Everybody told me EverQuest. We won't jump. This week. Until Battlefront comes yeah. out. Yeah, we won't jump says the guy who is... He was literally downloading two different MMOs during the recording of this show. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, hey, I gotta just, say, what? I've I have passed my two month mark with Final Fantasy. Yeah, I'm impressed. I played it for four and a half months before I quit the first time, and I couldn't get you to play. So I'm a little bitter there. I just entered month two. Yeah, good. Yeah. I couldn't get. I was. I like could not drag you guys into that game. That's weird. So I'm a little hateful. Yeah. I mean, I really, there's some that. spite on my end at this point. Digital collector's edition for forty bucks. What does that uh, get me? That's a, that's a smart. <laughs> I like the cool carny skin. No, no, just get the the cheapest version, the, the absolute bare bones cheapest version. I do have it for twenty bucks on here. Don't associate with your CompuServe email. Did you say CompuServe? Yeah, don't 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 set it to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't heard that in a long time. Farm sluts at CompuServe. Digital collector's edition it's, comes with um, the carny class and the uh, uh, meth crafting ability. So, Slurms, do you still have this extra account that's not Steam related? Are do I still, have the extra? Oh yeah, uh, I'll just buy the account work? from you. Uh, well, no, you can't. You have to have the original first before you can plug uh -huh. that in. Yeah. I have. Uh, I struck a deal with someone that we know. Okay. Because I told you to sell it. So. Yeah. I have taken care of it. So that's fine. So if you I have followed the... that guy's advice, good for you. <laughs> I finally, well, I. <laughs> so that, so that guy actually helped you out. Yeah, that guy was right. That guy but helped. I, that, I, that but is I sold it at a loss. Service. <laughs> oh. I just bad. wanted to get rid of the damn thing. Um. Yeah. So if I have like a physical copy to start with, can I add on a Steam copy? No. No. <laughs> Oh, damn. Actually, that's what I did, and I called up, and they're like, yeah, no they're problem. Shut the fuck up. We just convert them, <laughs> flip them back and forth. Like, that, that is no problem at all, and they did it right there on the phone. We're going to give you a free upgrade, sir, to the <laughs> yeah. digital collector's Actually, edition. Actually, yeah, they gave me a couple, a couple minions and uh, an extra month Said of Sorry about time. the hassle? Yeah, an extra month of game time. Yeah. They shipped him a Lollafell, a real fucking Lollafell. They apologized to me. <laughs> so it was just a, a sack of Idaho potatoes. <laughs> Uh, Tell your Jay Blaze, we're actually kid. talking about original EverQuest, just to answer your question. Yeah. Um, all right, so are we don't are we what other MMOs we got to talk about? <laughs> I gotta ask, um, I don't understand, Steve. You keep putting in something about Emily in the show notes, and I don't yeah. understand oh, what yeah. the hell you're this talking is the, but about. But that's cheating time, 
Yeah, can we move on to cheating? Because we've been talking a lot about yeah, it. Yeah, we talked a lot about MMOs, but I don't sure. understand Sorry. what this is or what. You're... Okay. No, we did good. I think we had Jason. stayed on topic pretty yes. well. Yes. How is Emily? Okay, so Emily is last when uh, when Steve came up to our house. Are we talking about our niece? No. Don't, Steve, we start... you better not be asking about my niece. No, I will kick no, your you, ass. There's nothing you wrong will with your explain niece. it to you, <laughs> and you're going to feel like an idiot in a minute. No, I don't care. Um, <laughs> when Steve came up, we started playing on PlayStation 4. Oh, yeah. Until Dawn. I remember that. We which were tired at that was point. like is a like teen horror campy game. Uh, I want to watch that. Okay, well, okay, here's it, Steve wants to know what happened. So we got through a good chunk of the game. And it was I I really enjoyed it. I thought it set up a pretty, you know, preposterous story, but it these, was a lot of fun. Yeah, these teeny boppers, it's a basic, basic horror movie type of situation where there's teenagers in a party in a cabin in the woods and something goes wrong and two girls go missing and a year later they all re- decide it's a good idea to reunite at the same cabin. To move on. To and that will help them move on somehow. Yeah. So and anyway, we, kind of, we got situation. through a chunk and kind of left it there yeah. and then yeah. Steve left. And so I, I went to actually play it about, a, you know, this past week. And I, I, I said, Shannon, do you want to, you know, kind of come watch play? Because it kind of it felt like an event. It's like a movie. And yeah. She, and she said, no, just go ahead and play that on your yeah. own. I, well, I didn't want it. <laughs> I wasn't in the mood that day. No. So I, 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 I don't. I would do I haven't now. felt right playing it because it's all boring by myself. I'll go. Yeah, it's I'll, definitely a game that like. We can do I that now. No, I, you you already kind of gave me your answer. You did. You didn't care to ever do that with me. No, <laughs> I said I didn't want to do it right then. You're such a turd. You turd. It's definitely a game that like I wouldn't want to. I. I I couldn't see myself buying and playing by myself. I have but no after, desire to sit there and like play it on my own. Yeah, with a couple of us actually sitting on the couch, pull, like watching someone else play it, and then like yelling out, "Go left," or "Pick yeah. up that thing," or "Don't do that," or "Don't talk to that bitch, Emily." Um, yeah, we were making like choose your own adventure book type. Yeah, of situations. that was what was. It was fun. M- made it fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a blast, and yeah, if I, I think I will wait to play it until. What's the game called? Until dawn. And what's it available on? PlayStation Four. Is that it? it is exclusive? Yes, it's exclusive. It's okay. it's out by Sony. If you've ever played Heavy Rain, it is the same. Or um, God, what was the? But it's a bit lighter. In Indigo theme. Prophecy or uh, Beyond Two Souls. It is the same type of gameplay, but yeah, totally campy teenage hack and slash fun. Yeah. The thing that I actually like most of the dialogue for that was very atypical of like a teen horror flick. And it was kind of annoying to a point because it was very, very stereotyped. Yeah. But the stuff, whenever like you would get to a certain choice and you would wake up in like the psychiatrist's office. That yeah. was getting weird. That was getting, weird. that was my kind of weird. That was getting deeper and more weird. And I was very interested all, to see where that went. they're all after real actors. So the psychiatrist is Peter Stormare. He's the character actor that like you all know. He was the creepy uh Quiet guy in Fargo, and he's, he's also, been yeah, he's a big Lebowski. Yeah, and like one of the 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 girls is the cheerleader from Heroes, and mm-hmm. one of the guys is from Mr. Robot. Or whatever. Yeah, and one of the guys is from Agents of Shield, and the guy from Mr. Robot. It's good, so it's it actually. It, I mean, it kind of feels like a movie in that regard. Yeah, it's really high quality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good stuff. But I'm I'm glad to. I hope that you get back to it because. I definitely want to get back to it. It's just, yeah, I want people to. I'll come watch it with you. Well, whenever you're in the mood, I don't want you to sit there like on your phone. Uh, exactly. I was. It was in a. I don't even remember the day, but I remember. I just didn't feel like doing that. I okay, probably... but I also asked you. I didn't say let's play now. I said, do you? You know, would you want to come watch? And you said, oh no, just go ahead and play that whenever. Yeah. I'm say sorry. That. I did. I was probably trying to get back to our request. Okay. <laughs> And now so much EverQuest before the holiday weekend. You know, the sad thing is I was just looking up all this stuff, trying to get my login for Green Man Gaming, and I found my receipt for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, and it's the collector's edition. This is the collector's edition. I love how, like, every other episode turns into him, to you trying to, like, piece together. (laughs) (laughs) Remember we were talking about that 10 minutes ago? I've done some research. It's like a real-time event of you scrambling through receipts. You, but I love you own all the games. You have bought every MMO just like we have. It's just a matter of, see, 
I don't have to because I have keep them downloaded. He has to look them all up. It's not my fault. Mm-hmm. And I have notebooks that I keep at my desk with all of these stupid passwords in them. So I don't have to look it all up. Well, I'm good till they do all this crap where they're like, we're going to send you an extra password that uh, it's in your um, oh, on your phone shoe. Yeah. Like, those fans you wore sucks. in high school, they're in those. If you can find them, good luck. I hate that when, yeah, they're like, oh, no, you had a thing. Oh, it's not synced up now. It's like, oh, good. Some carny's been in my damn closet putting a password <laughs> in my shoe. This is not <laughs> what they do. Stop like, you're on fucking with shit. Sneaky yeah. fucks. That's yeah. a- Gosh. I am not going to a carnival anytime soon. They're going to be like, there's that motherfucker. We're going to put him on the world and tilt the world. And oh, fuck they don't have. <sighs> they I, don't have. I would like to apologize to all the carnies. I don't want to because it was one game that we played with my kids. Uh-huh. And then they won some stupid prizes. And yeah. we walked around the corner and like the very next game, which was like a one of those balloon, like you throw uh-huh. the darts at the balloons. Yeah. It's like the same, very similar game to the one we did around the corner. We walk around the guy that was sitting there as we're passing him. He looks at my kids and the stuff that they had and goes, well, we got ripped off. Yeah. Uh, they're was, fuckers. I was like, that's what? so mean. I was like, don't say that to my kids. <laughs> the only good carny was Navin R. Oh, Johnson. Oh, you know what? Decent. Wait. Mm-hmm. Have you been on a show since you went to the to- the toy event, the Star Wars toy event? No, no, that's this. That was last. That was last we, we, you should recap and say what the Toys R Us lady said to you. <laughs> oh, okay. So and overall, it was a positive experience. Yeah, no, it was this a lot was of fun. Sh- yeah. So we did Force Friday last week, last uh, weekend, Friday, where all the Star Wars merchandise, toys went on sale. A lot of the new Force Awakens stuff. So we, my, uh, I met my, I took my son and met my one friend there. And we got there about six thirty. Met two friends there. Yeah, like no, like right away. I'm, I'm oh, saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Got there you... like six, six forty, something like that at Toys R Us. They're opening up at midnight, so the friend Steve had gone in and talked to a staff there and said, um, "Is do you know what, what's the procedure for lining up all that?" And she said, "There's going to be a line forming outside. It'll form at seven, and." Uh, we're going to have some, uh, you know, it will we'll open up at midnight and uh, the news is coming. So we got out there. We're the first ones there. We lined up a couple, like a little bit before seven and uh, another friend of mine showed up. A friend of his showed up. So we were the first ones in line. And at about like eight or so, uh, the, the actually the, before that, the Toys R Us, other people had come out and they had set up like official lines and all that and kind of reviewed. You're going to get some free swag for being the first people, all that. And then so we're waiting and there's now probably a group of about, you know, it's about 10 of us at that point. And she comes back out, the one that he had talked to originally. And she's like, you guys are already waiting. Like, my God, what what a horrible life choice. And <laughs> Whoa. Like, yeah. Like what? Like, what are you talking about? She's like, there's so many other things you could be doing right now. And we're, she worked at Toys R Us. Yeah. And, and <laughs> we're kind of saying, like, what? She's like, well, Not, you could go, I don't like, have anything against people that work at Toys R Us, but I mean, yeah. you guys, you guys put in your eight hours. Yeah. And you were there. So, and, and she's like, you could be, you could do karaoke or whatever. And then she, did so she say karaoke? Yes. She said karaoke. Really? I, yeah. Really jumped out at me and stuck in my mind. Like, that's what your idea of fun is like now <laughs> in 2015. So, at, well, okay, don't rip on her idea fun because she was ripping on your idea fun. No, I mean, and, and, but I, I, karaoke I can be I, way I, fun. Like, I didn't say that back to her. She okay. sat down and started to smoke, and I, I'm the one who, who said at that point, like, we're going to give your store money. Are, are you ripping on us? And she kind of backpedaled at that point, and she was saying, no, I, I meant it's a, it's a horrible life choice for the people, like, in corporations who do it. You know, why couldn't they just? That's not what she meant. Why could they just release it in the morning or, you know, at 10 a.m. or at noon? Why why say it has to be at midnight? Yeah, serious backpedaling. That's yeah. not what that y'all is. Y'all are going to tweet about this, are you? Huh? She's like, y'all are going to tweet about this. Or, or podcasting this. about it. <laughs> she's talking about something on the MMO show. That's what she said. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to guest. Yeah. Um, oh. We're going to have her next week. She's going to karaoke. It's going to be great. Oh, God, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Probably a <laughs> carny. So she, so she kind of sat there and looked on her phone. And at that point, like we were all looking around like we don't want to engage with her anymore. And she proceeded to, to like suck down three or four cigarettes in like right. 10 minutes. Some people smoke. That's that's 
you know, let, don't let, I don't know. I don't want to rip on like just an overall arching. That's what this episode is. Because you're mad at her. <laughs> this is the airing of grievances. <laughs> We're going all in this hot mess. Uh, it's a hot mess. So then she she ended up leaving for about 30 minutes and came back and she was she worked the midnight event and it was kind of awkward she was probably annoyed that she had to work probably. midnights okay but i mean yeah no okay but that was terrible because well matt actually our son matt actually had a really good time and for people who don't understand what these events are like it's not like you're the event isn't about standing in line for four hours the event is very communal um, people, you're standing in line and everyone you're in line with for that time, you, I mean, you're, you have camping chairs, you have stuff to do that you bring and everyone talks to everyone and shares, like you just start talking about Star Wars because it's the only time you meet people in your community that have exactly the same interest as you and you're all there for the same thing. So it's a lot of chatting. It's a lot of helpfulness. Um, Jason, you were telling me like once it opened up, everyone was helpful, like, People remembered like, oh, you wanted this. There's only one here. I got it for you. You know, like people are just yeah. being helpful rather than grabbing everything no, on the shelves really for cool. each other. Yeah. And it's, you know, and it says a lot about like the Star Wars community and the fandom that everyone's just helpful and nice and everything. And it was a really nice amount of time for you to hang out with your friends. And it's just totally about like talking about Star Wars and shit. Yeah. No, so, it's tons of fun. And if you like Star Wars, that's cool. Yeah. My, uh... Yeah. My son got in the Detroit News. Yeah, we, yeah, they interviewed. Did him. he beat up the lady who was? <laughs> no, <laughs> our son's only ten, so. No. <laughs> yeah, that was that story. It was fun. Picture on the story, <laughs> huh? Yeah. I saw your guys' picture on the story. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, we were in the Detroit News. Well, I wasn't there. They were in the Detroit News. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was here podcasting. So. Yes, you were. And not editing. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. That. You got to it. It was a holiday weekend. I didn't really do it. You should. I wish you would have had email because I emailed you about doing it. I know, but I said I would do it and I just felt like I said I would do it. I should do it. But then I didn't really edit. I put all the stuff at the front and the back and I didn't really edit. <laughs> <laughs> That's editing, right? <laughs> well, you just got more of the live show experience. That's what I'm going to do with this. Yeah. I mean, honestly, We've done this for so long. The, the title is going to be, I'm going to do Hot, hot Mess. mess. Corner, it's going to incorporate carnies. I mean, they're, they're a hot mess. Yeah, don't go full dick. <laughs> Carney That's asada a, sauce. That's a subtitle right Carne there. Carney asada. <laughs> <laughs> Carney <laughs> massage of my full dick sauce. Oh, wow. So I, I know we're running oh, long. We are. Um, at this point, I do this have is to, your problem. You have to talk. Actually, we started late. We were probably right on time right about now. Sorry, that late, but um, I do need to talk about Metal Gear. Oh, go for it. Uh, anyone else before he launches into this love fest? Want to say I've got anything? nothing else to really talk about. My stuff is just going to be a, a talk about what I'm pl- starting to play, but it's not a big deal. So yeah, hit that. me with some Metal Gear yeah, Someone. I'm just trying to log into different places. Yeah, all the 14 MMOs that you've downloaded during no, your customer, talking talking to customer service. Just put us, just put us on mute. <laughs> I love, I love it, Brent. You, you've been multiplaying from the beginning. You just didn't, you didn't find us till now. <laughs> yeah, right. What's been going on? Yeah. So Tell Metal Gear that. Solid. Uh, you guys from past past podcasts know I'm a fan. And uh, it's it's bittersweet playing this because it's the last Kojima Metal Gear joint. But oh my god, this game is easily my game of the year, and I'm probably I think I'm only twenty some percent completion, whatever it says in the thing. But this is like right now it's in my top ten of all time, and oh, like shit. really going up there fast. Oh god, um, so it. It does a lot of things that I wouldn't expect Metal Gear to do, and it, it kind of bums me out. But on the other hand, what it does is so, so good. So uh, Metal Gear for, for me is a lot of long cutscenes, really crazy story that kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't, but looks really cool. And in and, and, and hindsight, you enjoy it with some pretty linear gameplay. And this is almost none of that. The first hour is pretty linear cutscene heavy but after that the game is totally open where you can pretty much do anything you want and solve things so many different ways 
and the the stealth combat is the best I've ever played in any game ever. Really? Yeah, like like hmm. bar none. I can't even think of another stealth game that handles it as smoothly and as well as this does. Um, and there, like like I'm I don't know how many hours I'm in now, uh, but twenty percent. I probably play this thing 30, 40 hours, and it it's still unlocking things for me to do and and way and giving me different tools and i'm going i'm kind of adapting the way i'm i'm playing and doing things differently and uh i play with a guy at work uh, we're we're kind of comparing notes and we've done so many missions completely different ways oh excuse me I had to pause um and uh <laughs> i'm just emotional. i'm choking up because yeah. it's so good and it's and knowing it's going to be the last metal gear like proper like okay, I, I took some notes. Hold on, let me pull them up Uh-oh, here. What's going yeah. on here? Yeah. Whenever Jason has breaking news, there's notes. No, I took I took notes though. Okay. It's not breaking news. I took. I'm sorry. It's it sounded still like shuffling. you wrote them on a receipt. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like a shuffling of an ATM receipt. Sometimes reminders sound like receipts. <laughs> so facts, man. Yes, that's deep. Thing that annoys me. Just I'll get that out of, out of the gate. They, so I, I, you guys may not know, they got rid of uh, David Hayter, who's done the voice of Snake for every other game and yeah. replaced him with Kiefer Sutherland. Yes. Which I think they probably had him for like maybe six, seven hours total recording time. He just says, I'm Snake. All He's over, a silent over protagonist <laughs> almost the whole game. Yeah. There are a couple cut scenes where he says maybe two, three sentences tops. And a lot of it is Ocelot or or, or um, Kaz kind of filling in like all the narrative for him. So bummed that that he's not there. But again, the game's not really cutscene heavy. Does he say? Does he say today's a good day to die? Like from, no, and they just ripped it right from the beginning of Flatliners. No, no, they don't. I was waiting oh. for that. <laughs> he also does not say kept you waiting. Huh? Okay. Kind of like that's every other Metal Gear. And they even riff on like the one of the side characters says, aren't you going to say it? And he doesn't. And I'm like, yeah, they didn't have Keith or Sutherland long enough to get that line of dialogue. <laughs> so they had to work around it. Um, but the the actual gameplay is it's it's open world stealth where you get to select missions and pick in and uh, pick a helicopter point to drop you in. And you can go about doing whatever you want. You can you can do that mission. You can kind of go do other stuff. You can come back to it. There's a buddy system where you you start with a horse. And then I captured a wolf at one point. And back at your base, which is a whole other thing where you, you build up your base and, and add to it. And it can be invaded by other people, kind of like Dark Souls style. Your wolf becomes full grown and learns how to come out with you on missions. And you can go out and it can like it can smell enemies and kind of mark them for you so you don't have to you when you're sneaking in somewhere you don't uh you're not going in blind you can send the dog in to to attack people game's fucking great i, I could i know i'm sounding dumb right now but no, you don't sound dumb that's so awesome. awesome i'm i'm fucking so good passionate. i think passionate's the word yes i have not felt this way about a game probably since like mass effect 2 um okay yeah, like it, it has completely grabbed me where hey, I, Jason. as soon as we get done with this, I'm going to go play it. I thought we were going to go watch the one thing. No, I'm not doing that tonight. No, we should do that. So some EverQuest Shannon. then. Yeah. Shannon, you can you can play uh, Until Dawn on your own whenever you want. No, I don't want to do that. I but. think uh, Carnival Simulator is coming out. You might Carnival want to save some room for that. Can you build pools and put them in it and take the ladders out? <laughs> I used to do that in Sims. Sims. Oh, remember? Okay. Jason, we met in college and he was my buddy. Yeah, we worked together at the library. And he got me a bootlegged copy of the original Sims because that's all that was out at that time. And uh, I didn't Fucking know. Cheaters. I didn't know. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know anything about PC gaming. Only gaming I ever did was Atari and Nintendo and then. Like some other console ish stuff, like from boyfriend at the time. <laughs> like mostly, oh, remember that VW bug racing game? Slurms, you probably know it. No, I don't. The Volkswagen bug racing game? No? 
Nope. I was addicted to that, but I don't know what it's named. Anyway. It's probably just called VW Bug Racing. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, so I didn't know anything about PC gaming because I hadn't PC game since like Oregon Trail. So I didn't know like, so he gave me this disc. I'm like, cool. You know, he has this game. I'm going to share it. And so I didn't realize how wrong I was, but I, I played it and I loved it. Was it and Beetle Adventure Racing on the Nintendo 64? Could be. Okay. I don't know. I'd have to look at the screenshots. There was a lava mountain. Track. All right. So in Metal Gear, I want to yeah. give you this one example. <laughs> Uh, no, oh. no, because I want to tell about the Sims thing. Anyway, I think the Sims like really got away from like it, it started becoming so tedious to maintain them that it was just a pain in the ass. Yeah. It wasn't fun anymore. Yeah. All the pets and all the college stuff. Oh, no, that's true. The jobs. But, uh, I want to give you one example of Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah. where, um, like how I want to talk more is. about the Sims. No, I just want to give this one last example. No, I don't care about the Sims. So, in uh, in Metal Gear, one of the best parts is you can fulcrum up almost anything, meaning you can attach a parachute to somebody or something that will, after a couple seconds, just balloon up in the air, and your guys will recon it and take it back to your base. So you can do that with, like, you can knock out enemy soldiers and, and take them. They all have different skills, and you recruit them. You can, you can take back, uh, like... Uh, uh, jeeps other things like tanks you can upgrade so weird in the reverse no it's mm-hmm. awesome because you can build up your base like it's you're awesome, okay. to work your base but okay but on the flip side if you're in a mission and you're running out of shit you can say you're running out of shit you can say oh shit i'm running out of shit i need you guys to balloon me in some shit so you can like call in your radio and say hey drop a box here with other with more ammo and like silencers and everything and so I was playing it and you can mark on your map where to put it. So it like automatically targets on you. So I'm like, OK, yeah, you know, I, I want to bring it right here because I was kind of hiding out from some enemies and the box comes in and falls right on me and knocks me out. <laughs> All it right. Did, it didn't kill me. OK, but I got up and I grabbed everything. I'm like, OK, I'm not going to if I'm going to stay in the same spot, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it drop in just a tad off me. So there was another part where. This it was this whole boss battle where I was trying to defeat this enemy sniper and I had to move between cover and like sneak up to her and I had to get around her where she couldn't see me. And I got up to her and, and hit her a couple times. But as soon as you hit her, like she she has some supernatural ability where she can kind of like teleport away. So I got her a couple times and it was taking a long time and I, I was able to spot her and I was kind of behind a hiding spot. And I'm like, what if I just like send in reinforce like extra ammo for me but i i move it to come in right where she's sitting and so i did that i stayed behind my spot it takes about a minute for it to kind of come in she was waiting for me to move i i'm like and then i kind of peek out i look at the box fall right on her knocks her out i run right up to her the mission's over and like i that's i've in hindsight i've seen that like after i did it like on kotaku and a couple of things but that's fucking awesome. Like, there's so many different ways you can work your way around missions. Hmm. That sounds incredible. And I would love to continue talking about that in the after show. In the think, after show. I think we have. I think we're into the after show. Thank you. And Steve. Hi. Would you like to take us out? Yeah. Um, we'll, we're, like, if you would like to join us for like where we tangent on after a show, join us live on Fridays now. Uh, in the fall, winter months, we go on Fridays on Twitch. Dot TV slash the MMO show, um, and it's terribly non-engaging with the chat room. I'll warn you now. <laughs> we get complaints. It's it's awful. But anyway, Steve, we're gonna go chat about how and what ways. Metal Gear is The Sims. And then, Get the fuck out of here, everybody. Thank you. Get the fuck out of here. Said like a pro. Fuck oh. Put you to bed. Let's log off. Show is in the can. Thanks for listening to the MMO Show. Questions, comments, feedback, errors, etc. can be sent to email.themmoshow at gmail.com. We invite you to write a review on iTunes, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and various other social media at The MMO Show. And visit our website at TheMMOShow.com. I don't know if I'm into this anymore. <laughs> no, let's just cancel it. Yeah.